hi guys here yeah, welcome back to our channel we are live in the city of orca we just entered from enugu we are approaching aroma junction pretty soon and since governor soludo became the governor of uh, anambra state i've not really moved around anambra very well precisely orca itself but today we are live here let me see the recent update they've done there are a lot of portions along this road going to a nature that is very bad especially on the orca axis orca town itself so i'm going to be checking them out to know if they have been fixed and if they are better and it used to cause serious traffic in fact around the third flyover that i used to know we don't used to fly through the top again we just have to follow it down to join the good road to our nature so let's check out all of those updates and see if some palliative work has been done around that region especially close to the third flyover if you are new to our channel you are welcome to Alin tv do not hesitate to click the subscribe button also turn on notification bell so you get to know we we'll upload new videos for returning subscribers thank you very much we just passed through the aroma flyover now um we just finished passing the aroma flyover as you can see by our right hand side there's spa by our right hand side and mark is by our left hand side when passing the flyover i will be heading to unizik junction you know after unizik junction after the second flyover that's where we have the bad spot that has been disturbing in orca so i just hope that i'm going to have a smooth ride past that place by the time i get there if you are based in orca let me know your let me know in the comment section how is orca treating you in our last video the road trip from enugu to orca i recommended that oh you can tell me something beautiful that can make me relocate from enugu down to orca somebody said i should not bother call me i don't know if it's sarcasm or if the guy was serious so if you are seeing this video do let me know if it was sarcasm or if you are very serious that i should not bother relocating to orca and give me your sincere reason so we are almost at uh, unizing junction and from there we'll be taking it up to the second flyover and how has the governor been faring well nothing much around the news for him i've not really been seeing project like that from orca or from anambra state in general but if you are seeing some of the great projects he's doing you can do what to also do let us know tell us the location i will be more than glad to see how we can pay that place a visit we just passed unizik junction that's one of the most popular junction in orca so there's no traveler that don't know unizik and aroma junction unizik is very popular so most uh commercial buses stop around uh, the unizik junction just to refresh themselves and continue their trip to wherever they are going to so this is the second flyover in Orca. Like I said, the road from the first to the second is quite okay. It's just the bridge that had a little separation, but I think if I can remember vividly well, it has been fixed. Yeah, I think it has, it has been fixed. So this is the second flyover that we just passed. So heading towards the third, just after the mega Philly station, the road has been pretty, pretty bad. And just to mention for my viewers who are in Orca, how is the street of Orca like? is it, are the roads very good now are they very bad are they better now is the governor really doing some great work around that region let me know let me know if there are work going on in your area that we are not seeing on air because not all governors want to be seen on air that oh i'm doing this project i'm doing that project but then at least trickles of news should be flying around that shows that yeah a governor is actually working so nothing has changed from this axis i am seeing Nothing has really changed. The road still remains the same. The little portals here and there is still there. The red sand by the side is still there. So I don't even know what they left this portion that was not tarred for. I don't really know what. <laughs> I believe the contractors and those in charge can explain why they left those portions that were not tarred. You know, so we're almost approaching the mega fuel station now. From there, we'll be entering the bus port I talk about. Let me just hope and pray that some palliative work has been done. If you are still seeing our video and you are not yet a subscriber, please do not hesitate to click the subscribe button, turn on notification bell so you get to know when we upload new videos. For returning subscribers, thank you very much. We really do appreciate your love for our channel. Well, I'm not going to stop this video here. After Orca video, I'm going to be giving you an update on the current work going on the dualized lane of Orca to Onicha yes only one lane has been in use that i've been using let's hope that the other lane i learned some work has commenced let's hope that uh the work has really 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 commenced as you can see around here now still looking all dusty a lot of sand and some pops bumps bumps here and there so i think uh, just some palliative work was done oh this checkpoint was not here the last time i came uh the checkpoint post was not here i think some palliative work was done i think they just poured some stuffs on the ground just to help people pass through i believe this was done 
recently or if i'm mistaken if you have been passing here do let me also know in the comment section so all of this axis was actually bad it's obvious some palliative work was done on it but still not looking great i don't see any reason why this cannot just be tired it's a little portion of the road i believe it can just be tired to give a free ease and access to the road and like i said earlier it's been a very long time i can't remember for years i've not used this last flyover and a lot of persons don't use it because if you use it you're going to run on bad spots going to onicha and just one lane has been fixed so we all still have to pass through the down uh, of this flyover so we can join the good part of the road as you can see all of this part used to be a little bit gully and very bad but now thick sand and all of that was poured on it just to ease uh, traffic and help movement around that area well it's okay it's fair but i think that is not good enough this is the capital city of anambra state for crying out loud i think something better should be done and it's just a little portion of the road so i think better better work can be done within that axis so the road is very scanty festive period i believe people are just chilling in their house and relaxing so the road is quite very scanty so we're back on to move even though the traffic light was still holding us so we have to obey the traffic controller just to join um the orca on nature road so this is how we have been driving it so if you are using this road for the first time and you're watching this video do not go on top of the flyover if you are going to nature you have to navigate like this so you can ride on a clean and smooth road from orca down to our nature if you use the top you're going to ride on so much bumpy roads that you will be tired seeing a lot of persons flying through the other lane so this is how we have been managing it so all of this area is still looking very cracky and i think it's because of the pressure exerted on this area because of uh, um the incoming vehicles and those going to on nature everybody is using this particular lane i think that's why there's so much pressure on that lane that's why all of those places are cracking up so it would be nice if the other lane can be fixed quickly so that we don't destroy this one that is there before the other one is done so guys as you can see a little work has been done on the other lane as you can see and this is the update i will bring you guys pretty soon as we ride from orca to onicha again if you are seeing our video for the first time and you are not yet a subscriber do not hesitate to click the subscribe button turn on notification bell so you will always get to know we upload new videos for returning subscribers thank you very much we really appreciate your love for our channel we are looking forward to your honest review about our car about this drive through we just did we'll be looking forward to it in the comment section and we are also open for your recommendations as well so stay tuned to our channel for an update on this dualized work currently going on along Orca on Nietzsche Expressway. We'll bring you guys that update and also stay glued for Onicha to Benin. We'll bring you all of those updates. Thank you so much, guys. We'll catch you in our next video. Bye.